my gosh! Holy crap, I can't believe I found this. So we're out again. This is uh, this is the new part that I've been detecting. It's an 1800s town. I think the town was established in like the 1850s. Um, it's a uh, it's a nicer part of town. You've got a lot of big style homes in the area, and we have scored a permission. We scored a really big permission too. The yard is huge, and we detected yesterday. I forgot to make a little intro video, um, but that's okay. We're doing it today. Just today, yesterday was such an amazing day, and you're about to see those finds. Wow! I mean, it was a. It's one of those homes that there's just hardly no trash hardly no trash and everything you dig is old and i love it i can't wait to see what we find today and that'll be in a part two so you'll be seeing that uh, later in the week so let's go get it hey you need to hit that follow button and comment something really nice all right here we go this is the first dig our first signal, it looks like it's a weedy. Uh, what's the date? 19... 1946. There we go. First dig weedy. All right, I'm right here next to the road. It's getting pretty crazy. A lot of, a lot of traffic. But check this out. We got another coin right here. Wondering if we got us another weedy. Oh no! That rang up pretty high, so I imagine that is, yep, that is a copper penny. Copper penny. Right here next to the driveway, another wheat penny. I can't quite make up the date on this one. That is a 42, 40. I see it better on the phone than I can. Yeah, but it's a weedy. All right, we got two wheats already. Sweet. All right, we got us another coin. What do we have here? I think we got another weedy. Man, that's three. There's got to be silver in the yard if we're finding this many weedies. Got to be silver. All right, so we've already dug three Wheaties. We've already dug three Wheaties. And I have a solid 95 right here. 95, jumping up to 96. Oh, I think we found us a good one. All right, we have dug the plug. It's right here on the side. Come on. I want to see silver. No! Oh man. Oh, it's a little it's a little plug. We got a little plug. Darn. I could go home right now. I'm so excited. I have never found this. I have searched for this coin for the longest time. Buffalo nickel. This is my very first Buffalo nickel. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I can't believe I found this. This is awesome. This is awesome. Okay. 1936 wheat penny. Uh, I think that's our fourth wheat penny so far. Now I have managed to grid. This is my third row so far. Four wheat pennies, one buffalo nickel. I think today is shaping up to be amazing. All right, we've dug nothing but coins, but now we got a relic. Oh, that that is actually really sweet. Now, I don't have my water with me, <laughs> so we're going to take this home and clean it up and show you a picture of it. But this is some kind of, uh, looks like some kind of pin of some sort. I don't know very amazing find though this is old it was pretty deep it's finally happened i can see it already 
right there. We got us a silver dom. Oh, we got a silver dom. I don't have my juice. I don't want to rub it. That's a mercury. That's a mercury dom, baby. Oh, that's a mercury dom. Let's go. Oh, I don't want to mess it up. Just want to see that date. Nineteen forty-five Mercury Dom, first silver on the board. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Just like that, we're only two feet from the last hole, and we got some kind of coin spill. Now this thing is super rusty, or not rusty, but um, this thing is super just corroded. Uh, but there's another one right next to it, and that's a wheat penny. We'll try to get the date off of that. There could be some more in here. All right, I find these all the time, but there we go. We got us a, a state tax token. I assume it's Alabama. I can clean this up when I get home. And I always love to give these to the owners. Uh, just a little, uh, make them like a little relic box or some sort that they can display in the house. That's gonna be a cool piece. Sweet. I'm absolutely blown away. Today, my bucket lister was to find one buffalo, and we just found another. That's two buffalo nickels, and we are, we're not even but 10 feet from the, from the sidewalk. And we have homing like 100 plus more yards to go. Let's go, baby, buffalo nickel number two. Oh, this is, this is the greatest day I've had detecting in a while. It's just back-to-back -back holes. Well, we're going for a record of wheat pennies. Goodness, that's another one. Wow. I'll take it. Y'all, I'm losing it. I'm absolutely losing it. This is another silver. It was in the same hole, this weedy we just pulled. I, this is why you always double-check your holes. Always rescan your holes. I just rescanned this hole. We got another silver. Oh, <laughs> and I'm, uh, I didn't bring my water. Let's look. Uh, we got a rosy. It's a rosy. Sweet. It's not a Merc, but it's a rosy. We got silver. Let's go. It's almost dark and we're still going. Another weedy. Why not? All right, check it out. It's a pocket knife. The blade's still on it too. Normally when I find these knives, uh, the blades have corroded off. This one's still on there. This one might clean up. The clip is on the side. So I don't think it's going to be too, too old. Nevertheless, that's a sweet looking fine. Hey guys, this has been my greatest day of metal detecting. I may not have found like some really, really old relics like I normally do, but coins galore. You can't ask for a better day if you're finding that many coins. And we, sh we, we maybe hit 15 yards, 15 yards off of the, uh, off of the sidewalk. This place is amazing. So I talked to the owner and the owner said I could come back whenever I want. And I believe this is gonna be a part one of some amazing things. We're gonna go home and clean up the coins. We got two cool relics. Uh, we'll clean those up too. <sighs> what a great day. I'm pumped.